uh, suffered under Islam. Yes. And the Muslims are arguing that Jews flourished under Islam. Yes. Okay. So flourish means uh, flour flourished means that they prospered, they excelled, they were they were highly educated, they were successful in business, they had all the opportunities Muslims had. They prospered okay. in the same way they so prospered. So that was the general world. that was the general pattern of the Jews living under Islam, the, the, the general pattern of their lifestyle. Okay. Now I'm not saying there were no um, miscarriages of justice. Would, would you agree they lived as second-class citizens? No. Define, define second-class citizen. Um, uh, not like, Pal course, not uh, like Palestinians course, are living course. under Israel today. No, go. not like that. Okay, no, so absolutely not. Israeli Jews, Arab Jews never this lived is, under Islam like the Palestinians the are living with Israelis today. And the hypocrisy of this man. Arabs in Israel pay the exact same tax as Jews in Israel. If you earn a lot, no, you pay no, a lot. No. If you earn I'm, a little, I didn't you pay say little. Arabs. Jews I said Palestinians. Under the <laughs> pay the jizya until they're humbled. Okay. Jews didn't pay jizya. Okay. Okay. Not like Muslims. Okay. Like brother, 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 wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me handle him. Yeah. Let me handle and him. And I do okay. have to get back to my yeah. wife, so we yeah, have no to be problem. really quick. So, me. so you see, note the language. The Arabs living in Israel pay the same tax. Yes. He's right. Palestinians living under the domain or the, the the power of Israel, let's say in West Bank, in Gaza. Gaza is a concentration camp. It's a, it's a concentration it is, camp. It is, oh, wait, 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 it's a giant prison. He doesn't want to talk about, what, what does he do? This is how it, this, this is how disingenuous these people are. They will jump straight to Israel. They have given some rights to the Arabs living in Israel. And even when you go and speak to the Arabs living in Israel, ask them what they feel about it. Okay, those Arabs who actually ended up in, in, in the Israeli Knesset, the, the parliament, speak to them and let them speak for the Arabs in Israel. I'm going to leave it for them. I'm talking about Palestinians. What are the Palestinians going through under Israel? The question is, did the Jews ever, ever, and I'll put more emphasis and stress on this. Did the Jews ever in the entire history of the Muslim civilization live in those conditions under Islam? That's the question. That's the question. Yes. And the, so the, the un answer is no. Okay, so the and he will have to present the evidence that the Jews we're, we're were put in a concentration camp. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to so, go. hold on, very, to, very, it. Hold very on to it. Okay, very, very, very quickly. You're going to say that these Muslims are unfair and they don't give very me any quick. mics and they're giving mics to the Muslim guy. <laughs> very, right? very Yeah, so you, we Muslims have always. Very, very. Yeah, so you, we Muslims have always treated you like this, but you don't want to accept it. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. So very, don't very, put more mics than him because very, he's going to say that these Muslims are biased. Very, there are two very, mics here. Very quickly, when Adnan's finished, the Palestinians in the Palestinian territories pay tax to the Palestinian Authority. If the Palestinians in the, under the Palestinian Authority are unhappy with the tax that they pay, they take it up with the Palestinian Authority. The Jews living under the Palestinian Authority don't pay any tax because they were ethnically cleansed. But avoid getting back to the subject. The jizya the Jews is in cleansed. Adnan, I didn't shout over you. Pay me the same respect. So how do you, Adnan, how do you wait, exist? Adnan, wait your turn. Jews are ethnic cleansed, how do you exist? Adnan, wait your turn. I can educate you on all these things, but you have to wait your turn. The jizya is imposed upon the Jew. There is no limit to it. And it is imposed on him. The Quran gives the reason explicitly in verse 929. And it is until the Jew is humbled. Sahirun, belittled. Okay. Does that sound... Listen to this audience. If this, if the Jew was truly equal, why does he not pay the same tax as the Muslim? And why does the Muslim not pay the tax until he is humble? Okay. Why is it only the Jew I, that you have? I will quickly respond and I'll uh, make a move. Because, uh, so I also have to get it. So neither of us are running. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have a proper debate. Yeah, we're going to have a proper debate on this, by the way. The purpose of this conversation is to lead up to a debate. We're going to have a debate and the topic of the debate will be Zionist Joseph will be arguing that Jews... Islamist no, Adnan. Uh, you're going to call me that, yeah. no problem. Let, let him finish. Is, yeah, let, let him finish, okay. Uh, I'm a Muslim, I'm a Muslim. Muslim Adnan will argue with Jewish, Zionist, Jewish Zionist, Jewish no, 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 Zionist. Yes. I, I, have, Jewish I, have, I, I, I have no problem with you being a Jew. I have a problem, I have a problem with this, this idea of Zionism. You want I do, I mean, every, 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 yeah, every, every, every it's, it's like, you know, ISIS is an ideology and they claim to be Muslim. We have a problem with that ideology. Okay, Zionism is an ideology. 
It's not a religion. Judaism, Judaism is a religion. I have no problem with Judaism. I have no problem. I mean, I don't agree with Judaism. I'm not, I don't agree with Judaism. I wouldn't be a Jew myself because I don't agree with it, right? But I don't have a problem with the existence of the Jewish people. I believe the Jewish people have. No, no. I believe the Jewish. I believe the Jewish people have flourished, existed, coexisted. Uh, in prosperity and happiness with the Muslims of the last 1,000, let him finish. Uh, 40, last yes. 1,400 years until the state of Israel was created. That's a conversation we can have later on in that debate. So that the, the, the topic of the debate will be: Joseph will argue the Jewish people suffered under Islam, okay, and that was the norm. This is what this is what he will be arguing. That was the norm. I will be arguing under. Uh, on the other hand, that the Jewish people flourished under Islam and that was the norm. We're not going to be dealing with exceptions. We're going to be dealing with the norms. How did the people okay, feel under Islam? So Joseph will present his evidence in this debate and so will I. Okay, We will have this debate online or offline, wherever appropriate. We'll discuss the details, right? The point, is, the, the point is, 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 the point is that Joseph has been very naughty recently. <laughs> on, on Twitter and elsewhere. He took a very short clip from a very long conversation between myself and himself and he tried to make me look like an anti semite Okay, and he failed miserably because what I did, I went, Twitter is, uh, is, a, is an open platform, I went and I posted the, the full debate and people could see what Joseph is What's trying to be. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Okay, so, very naughty. So, so then Joseph, then Joseph realized. Hold on a second. Okay, he didn't expect me to come and comment uh, and participate in that discussion. Then he, he said, Adnan, you are lying in this discussion. Those, those. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He's right. He tagged me. Actually, he tagged me. And that's how I found out. Okay. So Joseph challenged me on Twitter that you quoted these sources that don't exist. So what do I do? I take those quotes and I paste them on Twitter for him to see. What does he do? He tries to spin them, he goes around them, he's dancing around them, not admitting that you're right, Bahia bin Bakuda said exactly what you claimed he said. Then this other source, which I mispronounced, it is, uh, I called it Petrocephron, but it was Sephra Petron. Okay, so I got the name wrong, but I had the source right. Joseph doesn't have the audacity to come back and admit in public that you were right, what you claimed does exist, uh, but I don't have to agree with it. But so is that no, true? No, can, you, can you confirm those two sources you challenged me on Twitter? Okay, they do and exist, and, and they, they it's say it's not your fault that you've got the name wrong. But I can't be expected to take you on set. If I say I read, I read that famous Muslim scholar John Smith, and you're like, mate, there's no Muslim scholar called John Smith. Maybe Smith John. Then maybe it's, Smith. There you go. So, it's, it's not. So you, know I mean? you got not, the name yeah, wrong. I got, but, so, so you, uh, Adnan, it's not the Adnan show. I've got to get back to my wife. One question. One question. Joseph. No, no. You ba spoke ba for about been, 50 did minutes. Bahia bin Bakuda, a Jewish rabbi living Adnan in Cordoba we'll have in the 11th century, century. Did he say that our living conditions are better than the Muslims. Did he say that? So Adnan, we will okay. do this on the debate. You've spent yeah, for a long time. I want I'm going to close this, it on this one I comment. want this to be on Twitter. Adnan has, Joseph, Adnan has did Bahia bin Fakuda, a Jewish rabbi from the 11th century Cordoba, did he say that our living conditions are better than the Muslims? I'm going to read what you said. So here we go. No, no. Read the quote. I said. Read the very quote from the very book. But what you said is not what the quote said. That's my whole point. What? Uh, what, what did I say? So that's what I'm trying to pull up. Let's go to the discussion and find what I say about Bahia bin Bakuda. This is Bahia bin Bakuda, right? Read it. Is that the one? So the second. So this is what you said. You claimed it said we have been honoured by the Ishmaelites. God well, That was that was Sefer Petro. So Joseph. What I said was true, and what you claim... We'll do this in the debate, I've got time. Okay. Adnan, very, very simply, because you spoke for a long, long time. You, this is my simple yes, no answer. This is all I'm going to ask. Jews living under the Khilafa, should they pay the jizya until they're humbled? Okay. Yes, no. I'm going to answer. 
Yes, no. no. Yes, no. Yes, no. That's what you just said to me. How, yes, no. How, how old are you? You just said yes, no. How old are you, Joseph? Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. How old are you? How old are you? Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. How old are you, Joseph? How old are you? Yes, no. I say to you, my daughter. Joseph. And she's two. Joseph, how old are you? Yes, no. Yes, no. How old are you? Do you want me to? Yes, no. Should I pay the There's no yes, no answer. That's my point. I'm going to answer your question. to answer the question. Okay. We're going to address this point in the debate. So we're going to leave this point for the debate. The issue of jizya. Issue of jizya. Jizya, I can tell you this much. The Jewish people playing, paying jizya, living in the domain of Islam for the last 1,300 years before the state of Israel was created, they lived in far better conditions than the Palestinians are living under the domain and, and, and the illegal occupation of Israel. Full stop, period. I think we agree on that point, don't we? No, don't we? How he yes. never answers the question. <laughs> Let's continue with the debate.